Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be showing you my routine for getting ready for a winter weekend. You gotta love Saturdays, so I'm starting off with some green tea and some homemade porridge. Not microwaved, made the proper way with a little bit of apricot jam and my yummy green mango tea. And then I'm gonna head upstairs, tie my hair up and jump in the shower. I'm using my molten brown pink pepper pod body wash. And then I'm also using my Venus Embrace razor. This is a brand new one, you have gotta love new razors. And this one is for sensitive skin. And then I am gonna brush my teeth as well using my Oral-B Glamorous Shine 3D White Luxe Toothpaste because it is good for whitening your teeth. And then moving on to skincare, I'm not washing my hair today, I am using my Sunday Riley Blue Moon Cleanser which I've been trying this week and I do quite like it. I am going to massage it into my skin and then wipe off any excess with a wet flannel and then just pat dry my skin afterwards. Next I'm using my Caudalie Eau de Beauté which is a kind of pointless but totally delightful product. I love it. And then I'm using my Bacal Jaluronic Serum which is a really really moisturising serum because in the winter I tend to get really dry skin. I'm following that up with my Olay Regenerous 3 Point Super Anti-Aging Cream which is pretty rich but like I said I get quite dry skin in the winter so it's really good just for making my skin feel really nice and plumped and moisturised again. Then I'm using my Caudalie eye cream and just patting that all around my orbital bone and then I'm putting on some of my Bite Agave lip mask because I went to Iceland last week and I got the most chapped lips in the world, they're so sore. I've actually got a split lip as well and it really really hurts. Moving on to makeup, I'm using my Max Factor Face Affinity Foundation which has SPF 20 and I'm just blending this into my skin using my Sigma kind of angled brush which I really like for applying foundation, it's really really good. Next I'm using concealer, this is the Ellis Fast Concealer which I like because it's good for under the eyes and for redness as well so I'm just putting it under my eyes on my nose, on my chin, on my eyelids, a little bit of everywhere and then blending it in using a little fluffy eyeshadow brush which I really like for blending in concealer because it just looks really natural and does it does the job well. And then after I've done that I am going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette and I'm going to start with the bronzer just to add a bit of colour back into my skin because I'm so pale at the moment. I really love this bronzer, it just adds a little bit of warmth and it's kind of got a glow to it as well which is really nice. And I'm just blending that along my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead just to make myself a little bit more tanned. And then using the brighter coloured blush from the palette, applying that to my cheeks and blending it in just to give me a little bit of colour as well. I really really love this palette, it just adds such a good beautiful kind of natural glow to your skin. Next up for brows I'm using my MAC Brow Pencil in Lingering which I love because it has a really really thin nib to it and just filling in my brows. I need to get my brows done actually they're not in the best shape at the moment and I also just like to blend the corners as well as you can see with my fingers just to make them look a bit more natural. Then I'm going to set them in place using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just brushing them kind of upwards and outwards and then once I've done that I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon Pencil in Gold Digger which is a really beautiful kind of khaki colour with gold undertones and then I am blending it in. I'm going to draw it on just within my eyelid and then blending it just to be on the crease and then also doing a little bit underneath as well just to pull it all together and then just keep blending until it looks kind of natural. Then I'm going to do the other eye and then just to make it a little bit more dramatic and smoky I'm going to go in with my Barry M Bold Black Eyeliner which is really soft and smudgy so I'm going to apply it just to the outer half of my lash line and then use the same brush just to blend it out and kind of smoke it out a little bit just to add a bit of definition and depth and then I'm also going to apply it to my waterline and inside of my eye at the top as well and then blend the other eye out and yeah it's basically a really easy kind of smoky look but it works for the daytime and the evening as well because I'm just chilling at home but I'm also going to a party tonight at my friend Kelly's. Then I am curling my lashes and using my Max Factor Masterpiece High Definition Mascara which is freaking amazing. I love this mascara. The wand is just so great. It adds definition and volume at the same time which is pretty hard sometimes but I really really like it. And then I'm using more of my Agave Lip Mask because my lips are really sore. I was going to put some lipstick on but this is the only stuff that makes my lips feel better so I just put more of it on. Then I'm going to take my hair down, brush my hair, put a little bit of serum in the ends. This is the Pantene Expert 
Hydra Intensify Velvet Cream Infusion Serum, which I'm just going to put on the ends because it really helps to add a little bit of moisture and kind of make my, the ends of my hair feel softer again because we went in the Blue Lagoon in Iceland and you're not meant to get your hair in and I did and now my hair is kind of dry. Um, so what I'm going to do then is split my hair into two and do two fishtail braids. So I've got fishtail pigtails if that makes sense. It's a fish and a pig at the same time. And then so once I've done each plait I'm just going to pull it out to make it look nice and messy and more voluminous as you can see I'm doing it now. It takes a while you just have to kind of work your way up and down. Then I'm applying a little bit of Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is my favorite. And I'm just going to work this into my pigtails, as you can see I'm doing now. It just helps to add a little bit of oomph to your hair, but also it helps it to stay as well, because it gives it a bit of texture. I'm spraying a bit in my roots as well, just to add a bit of kind of messiness, because I really want this hairstyle to be like messy and kind of lived in. And yeah, that is it. I'm next going to take my nail varnish off because it is so ridiculously chipped and repaint it with my Barry M jelly nail paint in a black pistachio which looks really dodgy with one coat but amazing with two coats it's like a really really dark green and then I'm using my Ciate coconut top coat which is kind of a summery product to be using in a winter get ready with me but it just smells so good and talking of smelling good I have worn my indigo nest perfume today and then this is my final look for the day super comfy I'm wearing my new look car coat which is basically like a giant dressing gown I love it my Marge leggings which are really nice for winter because they're actually really warm as well my Alexander Wang boots and I'm also carrying my little Anya Hine March bag that I got for Christmas last year and my new look hat. And then underneath that I'm also wearing my Topshop checked shirt which is really comfy and kind of loose fitting and casual. And I love this bag for the season. This colour is like my favourite favourite colour of the season, Oxblood, and the hat as well because it was raining outside, hence we did not film the outfit of the day outside. I'm going to pop links to all of the products I use in this video in the info bar below, so make sure you check that out, and I'll see you soon. Bye from me and Piglet. Hey guys, and welcome back, and happy Friday if you're watching this on the day it comes out. I'm filming it today, and um, the same day that I upload it, so I've got that Friday feeling. I am 